Okay guys, I found this YSL Blur Primer in my stash. Y'all see it's nothing but a little bit left, so I need to just go ahead and see what I could get out of here. Y'all know this is my favorite high-end primer. Like if I had to, if someone said you can only use a high-end primer, this would be it. I probably got a good two more uses out of this though. I'm about to get a stick to get to the bottom. But I got about a good two more uses. Set that right here. Uh, this is blurring. If you're a girl who's looking for a blurring primer that doesn't mind spending a little extra coin, this is it. Like this is pro this is one of the high end items that I would splurge on because it does so well. And this is probably one that I wear alone. <laughs> I don't mix any other primers with it. It's so smooth on the skin. It's like putting like a very moisturizing product on your skin. And it does blur pores. So I'm going to let that sit for a minute while we work on eyes. I found my P. Louise Rumor for base that's the base we're gonna use i don't think people still use eyeshadow bases anymore i don't know i'm gonna put it on the back of my hand And I'll take a little fluffy Castilla brush and blend it out. Okay, today I'm going to use the Keep It Playful palette by LA Girl. I told one of my buddies that I would use it. It seemed like I got another one with like black in it. I don't know why. Take this shade right here for the crease. I don't know why I feel like I got a uh, LA Girl palette with black in it. On a fluffy brush. LA Girl, you can get that from... Walmart, Target, Dollar Store, Dollar General, it's all over the place. Your beauty supply store. This is like an orange shade. 
a very deep orange shade. Y'all know my normal. <laughs> but it's going to give me a somewhat everyday type look. It's the weekend. I'm just going to the dollar store with mom and then get my nails done, hopefully, if they're not crowded. I'm going to take this skin light shade and put that in the transition area. I just blend it out so it looks like a very natural type look. I'm going to take the goal today, but I promise, friend, I'm going to come back and we're going to do some more. Because <laughs> I think you want, like, new type looks. I'm going to do the gold today. And let's see how, ooh, y'all. Look at the way that gold just glides on. I tell you, you cannot sleep on Beauty Supply Store. I get it. Everybody is into Sephora and the Sephora hauls and all of that. And, but give me a good beauty supply store palette and I am good. Look how well that glided on. I didn't have to use no eyeshadow glue to make the glitter stick. All right, and then go back with my same shade. Mm -hmm. Cause we don't, I don't want anything dark cause this is supposed to be a kind of natural type look. So I don't want anything dark in the crease, just like it's kind of effortless. <laughs> And you want to do like windshield wiper motions or circular motions. It just depends on you and how your hand go. But to me, this looks natural. So I'm going to do a liner and then I'll be right back. Okay, today because I'm going for a very natural type. Uh, look, I'm going to use the Estee Lauder Double Wear Sheer Long Wear Makeup in 6W1 Sandalwood. And I mix a little bit of my LA Girl Pro Pigment in blue. And put this stuff back on the shelf, Nana. <laughs> so my stuff, my table isn't like getting full. And we're just going to put this on there. I can't hold it up because this foundation or tin or whatever it is, is kind of runny.
I'm going to take a little bit of this Ruby Kisses concealer and warm honey. Yep. To highlight with. It's Ruby Kisses All Day Cover Concealer. I think I like this concealer, but the undertone has red in it to me. It's red, and y'all know I don't do red. I like the wear, the feel, the look of this concealer. It's just that undertone is getting me. So let me take a little bit of my Too Faced Warm Sand because I know this golden. Just a dot. You see, side by side, those look like the same shades, right? But you just gotta be look a little more. And then you can see the undertone. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm not doing no lashes today. Just put on a cold mascara. Y'all have to let me know of some good affordable mascara that's out that you guys have been loving. And take the edge of the sponge to clean it up. I'm going to take some of my RCMA No Color Powder to set everything. Highlighter, full face, everything. I feel like I got enough color with the concealer that I don't, I don't feel like adding my banana today. So no color. As long as it's set, it's good enough. Don't be alarmed that I'm looking kind of got a cast. It's going to go away once I spray and bronze and all of that. But push it in. Don't bake. We're going to push it in. And then take that color and we're going to put some on the lower lash line. Same transition color. We're going to put it on the lower lash line. Even though I hardly ever do that. Only because... That's one extra step that I don't need to be taken. I think I'm gonna go ahead and spray after this before I do bronzer and maybe blush.
get the cakiness away. Okay, I got this Lip Combo Morphe Kiss and Break Up from Ulta. It was on sale, so of course we're going to see what lip combo we can come up with. It comes with a dark shade and a light shade. The dark shade is called Kiss Goodbye, and the lighter shade is called Wifey. So let's see the combo we can come up with. Yeah, I know I'm always looking for a dark brown. I don't know why. I'm obsessed. I wonder if this is dark enough. It's not looking like it's dark enough. Let's see. Too much stuff in my hand. Nope. I could tell from the wine. Like, no, no. What? No. It's a new shade. Y'all can't even see. Hold on. It's not good, but. That's the same color as me. What is this? A Soul Matte Lip Duel. So these are matte colors. But y'all see Kiss Goodbye? How dark it looks on the packaging? But y'all don't see nothing on me. Okay then. That needs to be a center color, not a liner color. Let's take my favorite. Roasted marshmallows from Gimme Glow. Let that sit for a minute before we go in with the lighter shade. I'm going to take the same transition color and use that as a blush, bronzer, all of that. I don't like to look lighter. I feel like I'm looking lighter than need be. So, bronze up. better now let's take a wifey <laughs> put that in the middle let's see it's kind of like a my same type of shades that i always get Mm -hmm. uh, same type of new shades I always get. Okay, let me go get dressed and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back and this is the completed look. I was going to uh, put some gloss on the lips. So I'm like, no, just leave it matte, Nana, because you rarely wear matte lipstick. And it's not uncomfortable. It's just that I don't usually wear matte. It's not sticking together or anything. It's cute though. I like it. My nose is peeling. I've been rubbing my nose. Change of season. Gosh. Okay. So yeah, this is the completed look. I'm going to come back and do some more looks with this. I imagine, I don't know, I brought this so long ago, this LA Girl palette. I would think that it's still not over like 7 or $8. But as you can see, I love it because the colors are so pigmented and you don't have to do a lot of work. I love any product that you don't have to do a lot of work with. 
So yeah, if I get my nails done today, then I'll take you guys with me because I really, really need them done. Okay guys, I am back. I went to the nail shop and I should have recorded, but I didn't because, and I was the only one in there for like the longest time until this rude lady came in there being rude to the workers. I'm like, oh Lord, I can't stand when people are rude for no reason. Like you can say what you have to say without talking aggressive. You know, just, I do not like when people talk to people or think they can talk to customer service people any kind of way because the people were providing a service for her and she felt like it wasn't up to par well go somewhere else if you don't like the way they did your nails before why would you come back but anyway my girl wasn't there today she was out so I went to the owner Rosie Rosie did my nails so I'm gonna put my inspiration pick up here right so you all can see my inspiration and then I'm gonna take a picture so you can really see but when I say she got as close, as inspired, as inspired can get, ah, I love it. I want it to be like a galaxy. I wanted galaxy nails for whatever reason. And I absolutely am in love with my nails once again. I don't get my nails done but once a month. And that's good enough for me. But when I do, I Love it, love it, love it, love it. So I'm going to see if I can get a natural light picture so you can really see the the realness of it. And yeah, this is just me from the future, from the past. I don't know, whatever. My day is ended now. It is 4 o'clock now. I've been up since 6 o'clock this morning for no reason. So yeah, I am out of here. You all enjoy your day. Peace out. Bye. I'm going with my nails. Oh, Y'all can see them though. I love them. Bye, y'all.